Hey, it's me again. So today we're going to be talking about something really, really cool. And it's coding. Uh, most of you probably know a little bit of it, but um, as a teacher, bringing coding into a classroom can be one of the coolest, useful, and most interesting things you can do. So in today's topic, we're going to be talking about, about coding. Well, Teo came in this week and decided to talk to us about coding and things he's done in his classroom and things that we should be looking in and we should get involved in, in so that way we can progress our classroom to making it more technologically advanced. When it comes to coding, there's so many cool things that you can do with it and there's so many different programs. I took a PD day where we were introduced to microbits. So microbits are designed by Microsoft. I'll make sure I'll put a picture so you guys can see what it is. I don't know if any of you have taken that uh, PD before, but it's it's really cool and I really recommend it. I think BU is actually having one in the next coming weeks, but it's really cool. You get this little device that has a bunch of different lights and what you learn on it is how to code so that way the device can do what you want it to do. So for example, we code it so it could be a dice. So how that would work is we would enter the code and then we'd connect the micro bit into the computer and then we'd set, okay, program. And then the little, the little device with the lights would start getting, uh, I guess, coded. And it started being programmed. So then that way, every time you sh shook the device, it would just start going through numbers and it'll give you from one to six. So it was like a dice. You shake it and then it'd be like, oh, it's a two. You shake it again and it's like three. Then we learn how to code words into that device. So for example, if I wanted to give something to the device and let's say we were doing a scavenger hunt and I was trying to give somebody a hint, I could set these devices and it would give you letter by letter and it would spell out something. So what you would have to do is you have to grab a piece of paper, write every letter you see, and try and decode what the message is. So this program, I thought it was really, really cool, and I really liked it. And I thought, man, I could use this with so many different classrooms, and I think we all can. And I know it can be a little bit difficult and a little bit complex, and if you're not very good with technology, it might look really, really scary. But we should all take a leap and just dig in look at YouTube videos, ask for help, but I think this can be really, really helpful in the classroom. Uh, Mateo came in and showed us a little game that a lot of people are probably familiar with, and it's called Minecraft. But he showed us in a way that you could use this Minecraft and start coding for the character to actually do different tasks. And I have played Minecraft before, like the actual game, and it was interesting, like you get to build stuff, and I thought it was cool, but then I thought, how can I bring that into the classroom, and I thought, oh, it'll be a little tricky, but this Minecraft, you can definitely bring it into the classroom, you can talk to your principal and say, hey, look, it's 2021, computers are everything, there's multiple jobs coming up every single day to do with technologies and coding and all that kind of stuff. So it would be really, really good to have such thing as in like in class so the kids can start learning from when they're young. So once they get to high school, they can start exploring and doing more difficult things. They can start creating their own games, which is really cool. And I wish I would have had that chance to do that. But when I was in high school, we weren't coding or anything like that. We were just using the computers to make resumes and PowerPoints and using Excel and stuff like that. But now I feel like we need to just advance that and start using these coding programs. Using Minecraft would be a really cool way of starting that. You can start young and you can go up to, I don't know, high school. Um, we can keep learning and get it more difficult and more advanced every single year. I believe that this is something that the kids need to get on it as soon as possible because technology just keeps advancing and we need to advance with it. And I believe that that, that game is really helpful. Mateo also showed us a couple of other games and everything just looks so cool. Um, 
I don't remember exactly what was the name of that uh, website he showed us where his kids actually got to create a game using coding. Uh, I think it was called Scratch and I would honestly really really look into how to work it and use it properly so then that way if we start using Minecraft in the classroom and start coding bits and pieces here and there then for a end product or end project we would get the kids to make their own game. I would say, you know what, you have a certain amount of time, let's say a couple of weeks or so, make your own game, have other students play it, and give feedback on what they think. I feel like that would be really cool, it would let the kids get their creative side out, and it would teach them something completely new, something that in the mandatory curriculum it's not quite implemented as uh, as much as it should be but uh, yeah with all this cool stuff and things that Mateo was talking about I think I can make my classroom very technology technologically advanced and make it better make it cooler and he also talked about having eSports and make a group in the school I feel like I love video games and I feel like that's one of the things I'm going to pitch in as soon as I get into an interview, have the principal excited about it and then hopefully that will land me a job. But uh, I think it's a smart idea, I think a lot of people are doing this more and more, it's becoming more popular, you're already actually starting to make money doing this. I remember when my teacher told me that I would never make money doing uh, playing video games and such. but. <laughs> Little did she know, know that it would become a sport and now you can make millions on it. So, I don't know. I feel like we need to start teaching our kids how you can use anything and make money out of it. You can make it a career and teach them how to use technology and be the best they can be. Thanks.